In the world of marine science, a tiny organism called phytoplankton is known to be a pretty big deal when it comes to maintaining the delicate environmental balance in our oceans. And now a researcher at the UT Marine Science Institute at Port Aransas has come up with a way to study and take pictures of those tiny creatures. Our Marissa Cummings has the story for us tonight. Marissa? Joe, Professor Tracy Villarreal has dedicated his research to studying phytoplankton. It's like the grass of the sea. The plankton takes in carbon dioxide and turns it into food for the other fish. Villarreal says there has been an increase of carbon dioxide in the ocean, so he's trying to study if that's due to less phytoplankton in the water. Back in the day, in order to figure that out, Villarreal said he used to scuba dive and see the phytoplankton for himself, but that wasn't the most accurate way. Once you go below even just a few feet, everything tends to look the same color. So your eyes can only really pick out the big stuff. But thanks to funding from the National Science Foundation, Villarreal now has a camera worth $138,000 that can do all the hard work for him. Villarreal says before he was only able to study phytoplankton in drops of water at a time. And now with his new underwater camera, he can study the organisms in a literal ton of water at a time. Villarreal says he got, he, gets to, he got to use his high-tech camera for the first time on an expedition in Hawaii, and he plans to explore more in January. Joe? Sounds interesting. Thank you, Marissa.